Hey guys, myself I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see how to create and directly write data to PostgreSQL, one of the SQL instance in GCP platform using Cloud Dataflow that is using Apache Beam. So um, without any further delay, uh, let's get started with today's video. To explain in detail, the objective is we'll be using Apache Beam code in Cloud Dataflow service. We'll be creating a dummy data and we will be writing that data directly to PostgreSQL. So to see about what is PostgreSQL, what is SQL. Um, so there are totally three types of SQL instances present in Google Cloud Platform. One is MySQL instance and the other one is PostgreSQL instance. The third one is SQL Server. In our case, for this video, I'm I'm taking PostgreSQL as that as an instance. I have already created a SQL instance, so this is my instance which I'll be using for this demo, Postgres. So uh, basically, if you don't know how to create a Postgres SQL instance, I have already created a video, and I'll give the description in the uh, I will give that video description or video link in the description box. You can take it from there, and you can create a SQL instance of your own. So basically the services used are Cloud SQL, Cloud Dataflow, uh, Cloud Shell and Editor. So the pre-request you and steps pre-request you and steps in required for this video is you have to create a Python 3 virtual environment inside this GCP platform. Basically you can do the same in Python 2 as well, but very soon Google will stop supporting Python 2. So it is always advisable to use uh, Python 3 as your virtual environment. The next thing is, as I said earlier, I will give a link how to create a PostgreSQL using command line tool. Uh, in the link, you can find that link in the description box. And if you don't know how to install Apache Beam, I'll give you a video link for that also. You can take that link and you can install Apache Beam as well. So, to write data directly into an any SQL instance, we'll be using a, a package called Beam Nuggets. We'll be using this package beam nuggets to um, to directly write data to PostgreSQL. You can um, you can uh, find more about this beam nuggets package inside this uh, GitHub link. Basically, all these links will be given inside the description box. You can take you can directly take it from there. And so basically, there are some resources you should need. You should know how to whitelist. Uh, whitelist your IP address all those things will be you can take this from this link and basically all these things like how to create a Python 3 virtual environment how to create a PostgreSQL instance and how to install Apache Beam all this video links have been given in this uh, uh, resource section so this is the uh, beam nuggets it's an not an official package but it's an uh, github uh, github package will be using this method so relational underscore db dot write We'll be using this method to write data into uh, PostgreSQL instance. I'll give I'll give all this link in this uh, um, uh, in the description box. You can take a look at it also. So without any further delay, we will see how to implement it practically. So uh, as I said, I have already created a PostgreSQL instance and I have created a database. My database name is DemoDB. This is my database name and this is my username. Username is Postgres. So if you see, uh, this is the code. This is the code which is going to do the work for us. So basically, I'm importing the Apache Beam, and this is my pipeline options. And from Beam, Beam Nuggets, I'm importing this relational DB. So these are the records. This is the data which I'm taking to write it directly to PostgreSQL. It is nothing very simple data, like name, Jan, Feb, March, like month, year, and the respective number. So so relational DB dot source configuration. I'm giving a this is uh, this source configuration and table configuration is a parameter inside a relational db dot right it takes two parameter one is source config and table config table config is nothing but uh, it will contain the table name table name of the data what of this data table name of this data and create if missing like if the table name is not there it will create it and the primary key column is we that this is an optional if you wanted to give an prime primary key column you can give it or else that is optional you can totally ignore it and this is the most important thing you will be uh, configuring the 
postgres parameter into it uh, into the d into this relational db dot right so basically the driver name the host name this is the host name of this uh, database if you can go to this overview and you can find it from here so this is my database name sorry ip address name basically i have given there and this is port number 5432 this is the default port number and the username is postgres password at the time of creating i have given a password so basically uh, that password is given here and the database name so all these details you can find it from here so that's it this is very simple code uh, there is no need of explaining in detail also but uh, actually so with beam like here we are creating the apache beam pipeline code so with the beam dot pipeline pipeline options for now pipeline options i am not passing anything i am not running uh, using a data flow runner on all i'm normally using a direct runner so to execute this locally so i'm creating a p collection where i'll create the record and i'll store that record in this p collection once it's my p collection and i'm i'm taking this much and i'm writing directly to this table name months underscore column is my table name and uh, this is my parameters of that uh, postgres sql server instance sir instance name all those parameters so i have created a main function and if this code is getting executed successfully i'll basically i'll get this demo code ran successfully that's it so now i have created a virtual environment i am basically into this virtual environment now i'll be executing the code so it will take some time so i'll be back when the code got executed successfully yeah so my code ran successfully so if you see uh, demo code ran successful make sure you have to uh, allow whitelisting to the ip address and you can find that detail into in this uh, uh, in this page you should make sure you should uh, uh, like go through this authorized network on under ip configuration basically you will find you should allow whitelisting to your ip address and then you will not face any issues and uh, to see now we whether we got this column uh, got this data into postgres sql basically i have connected to my postgres sql instance so g cloud sql connect postgres is my sql instance name and i have in, i'm into my demo db i have connected into demo db and now you can use select star from not this postgres you know like instead you should make sure that is the column name that is a table name months underscore column months underscore column is my table name uh, select star from months underscore column so i can see my table name here so 0 1 jan 2 feb 3 march 4 is april 5 is may so the same thing is here so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you learned something new from this video and uh, please do like comment and if you have any questions or any doubts you can drop that in the comment section i'll answer it as soon as possible and don't forget to share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics don't forget to click on bell icon so uh, in next video i'll show the same thing but with a little updation we'll read directly we'll read the data from bigquery and we will post that data or write that data whatever we took it from bigquery uh, we'll write that data to postgres sql so this is the next video you can expect from cloud and ai analytics so until then it's bye from vignesh have a nice day